What's up? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood fam. We're back on the IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know. That's ICYDK.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices and the World Wide Web. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. And we're, it's all, it is all about the Oscars and the Oscars Vanity Fair after party, which brought everybody out. Let's first start on the Oscars. And of course, the big uh, talk of the night, and a lot of people consider the big snub of the night, was Jamie Lee Curtis winning Best Supporting Actress over Auntie Angela Bassett in her performance in Black Panther Wakanda. Uh, Jamie Lee Cur Curtis won for everything. Uh, I think it's called it any, everything, anything, all at once. Or something I think the movie's called. I didn't see the movie, but I think it's called um, everything, all at once, or something like that. She won Best Supporting Actress, and um, if I'm not mistaken, she won at the SAG Awards. And my brother, who, who was the expert on movies, make sure you check his show out every Monday nights. They'll be talking about this tonight uh, on Real Time here on the IE Network. He said that she won at the SAG, so he pretty much, whenever they win at the SAG, which I was not aware of, whenever they win at the SAG, like 80% of the time they win at the Oscars. So a lot of people were disappointed in Jamie Lee Curtis winning over Angela Bassett. But here's what I do not disagree with. Don't drag Jamie Lee Curtis. You know, people will say, oh, Jamie Lee Curtis, oh, you didn't deserve it. But this is classic Oscars. Jamie Lee Curtis probably deserved this award 15 years ago. That's the thing. I, I, for, all of those, um, for all of those performances as Laurie Strauss and, and Halloween and these great I, I think she should have got an Oscar for that way back then. Her, Oscar, her acting was phenomenal. So it gets to a point now where Jamie Lee Curtis, where they're trying to give her her flowers. This is the year they get, that she gets her flowers, and then at the at the uh, for, at the sake of Angela Bassett, who has never gotten her flowers. Angela Bassett, who has gotten snubbed, she should have won one for bet for her for uh, her performance of of um, on of Tina Turner. She definitely should have got her performance um, of Tina Turner. Probably should have got one for her portrayal of Betty Shabazz. But here, a lot of people feel as though she deserved it. She was much more of a supporting actress. Jamie Lee Curtis, from what I'm hearing, wasn't even in the movie that long. But this is a classic case of them now trying to repay Jamie Lee Curtis. Remember, her parents... Also won this award, a uh, best supporting act. I think her father was Tony Curtis, I believe, and the mother and her mother. She won best supporting actress at, at one time, and it seems as though they're just giving her her flowers at the expense of Angela Bassett. Now next year, Angela Bassett may not be in a movie. There may not be in a movie a movie that's Oscar uh, that that deserves an Oscar. So. I just think that, you know, I don't think Jamie Lee Curtis should be dragged. A lot of people are going around here dragging her, but it's not her fault. It's not her fault. It's the Academy the fault when they're doing the same old BS that they normally do, overlooking Angela Bassett, who's gotten overlooked for so many, so many different portrayals. I mean, if she don't, if she, if you find somebody, I can't, I can't even talk. I'm so uh, flabbergasted. If you can find someone who portrayed someone better than Angela Bassett portrayed Tina Turner, you please let me know who they are. This woman has been getting snubbed from the Oscars for years. And I'm mad at the Oscars. This is what black people be talking about. I'm mad at the Oscars. However, I'm not going to drag Jamie Lee Curtis. Congratulations to her. And it's well deserved. It's, it was, it's long overdue. She definitely deserved an Oscar, but 
just not for this role. But uh, shout out anyway, Angela Bassett handled it. Professional like she always does. She's used to getting snubbed now, but I really think this hurt Auntie. You know, you saw Michael B. Jordan and and um, what's the what's the guy in this new overrated sex symbol that Michael B. Jordan's friend that played his opponent in in, in Creed, whatever. And I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I don't judge guy, but I think that dude's ugly. I don't I don't know what the big fuss over this Negro is. This Negro's ugly. But um, shout out to um. Everybody at the Oscars. Now, after the Oscars, the stars really came out because there was more stars at the Vanity Fair Oscar party than there were at the Oscars. There were people that didn't attend the Oscars that were after, at this after party. Megan Thee Stallion made an appearance, and we're going to get to her in a minute. Cardi B uh, was at the uh, Vanity Fair after party. Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner, Gigi Hadid, Sierra and Russell Wilson. I mean, it was star stuttered. The Vanity Fair after party. Uh, that's where everybody went. Rihanna. I think Rihanna showed up at that party as well, I believe. I mean, no, no, no. Rihanna went to, to Beyonce and Jay-Z's after party. She showed up at uh, uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce's after party. Now, I have to double check to see if that was not, was that the same party? No, 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 no. Because um, Megan said she was going to, to Beyonce's after party you after. Your Renaissance but tickets or what? Look oh, at I some of the pictures, some of the looks. Okay. And we, know, got, we even me, got a I chance know. to okay, hear a direct line. Oh, baby, from you Megan know Thee I Stallion. Them this is <laughs> what <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion was saying. Let me get a let me tell you, let me ask you, are you going to their party tonight? I know they have a little oh, Oscar. I am, you after are. this, I am. Come on, man. First you know Beyonce is my auntie. I know that. Mm -hmm. But you said I have to stop by Vanity Fair first for a, what? A quick one, too. <laughs> this is my first night out, and I'm here. I'm ready. Are you working any new music? Can we expect a new oh, single? I am. New album. When y'all bye. <laughs> Go ahead, Megan. That girl was serving, boy. Look at her. Living her hair up, let y'all know. This ain't no wig. Look at it. <laughs> Go ahead, Megan. Now, Megan is saying that she put out there working on a new album, as I told y'all uh, before. And she also, if you notice the comment, if you go back to a video that I made about a week ago, when I said about... Uh, Megan being on the Renaissance tour with Beyonce. And then Beyonce saying, you know what? You really should do your own tour. But did Megan uh, let people know that she's going to be on this Renaissance tour? At least some cities by saying, I'm not going to let y'all know why I have the ticket. But you're going to be mad or haters are going to be hating once they find out. Was she making it? clear to people that she's going to be on some of these dates or at least maybe come in and do savage on some of those dates. That's, that's what I would probably bank on. Um, some of the uh, spots, maybe Houston, maybe New York where Megan is actually the, the special guest and she maybe comes in and does savage with Beyonce. But um, looking forward to new music, Look at that girl. That is a beautiful black woman there, boy. I'm um, looking forward to new music. Looking forward to seeing what, what else Megan has going. And I see she stepped out in the Oscar party, her first appearance. And that's going to be, I'm telling you, that's going to be the realm they're going to go. Go more mainstream, a.k.a. white folks. You know, she feels disappointed by black people. I'm sorry. And, and rightfully so. It was mostly the black women and the black men saying that she was lying. I mean, it, uh, the facts are the facts that, that mostly the black women or black men were the one dragging her. You saw the white people have more empathy for Megan. So that's why she started doing 
collabs and uh, interviews with more mainstream audience. All right, so shout out to Megan Thee Stallion, man. I'm looking forward to hearing what Megan has up next. And you know Hollywood's waiting as well, just like Hollywood uh, with Cardi B. They're waiting on Megan Thee Stallion as well. She's making up, you know, I'm hearing she's got a lot of things popping in 2023 and going into 2024. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with your friends.